Hi, I'm Ron Halbritter, Technical Advisor for Legendary Auto Interiors, and I'd like to welcome you to Legendary Studio, where today we're going to show you the easy way to install our 1966 Buick seat cover. We're going to show you the ins and outs on putting our burlap, our new padding, our cotton, our installation kit 3, which includes our 2-inch felt, the paper-coated listing wire, the burlap, and the stretch panel boards. Now, together with Randy Brown, and Legendary Auto Interiors, we're going to show you why Legendary Auto Interiors is number one with collectors, restorers, and enthusiasts worldwide. So let's get started. A first step would be to lay a layer of burlap over the top of the seat springs. You want to notch out the burlap in the hinge area. You don't want the burlap to bind. Now you want to carefully hog ring it all the way around the outside perimeter. Pulling the burlap tight, this is going to create the support you need for your molded foam. You want to attach a layer of 2 inch felt around the outside perimeter. This will give you the extra padding needed so the wire doesn't prematurely wear through the molded foam. Our next step will be to cut through the molded foam and draw lines onto the burlap where we're going to attach our paper coated listing wire. Now you notice the paper coated listing wire has a 90 degree bend on both ends. This will prevent the listing wire from traveling front to back. Now you want to tuck the paper coated listing wire underneath the 2 inch felt before hog ringing it. That way the paper coated listing wire does not prematurely wear through or poke through the molded foam or the seat cover. Our next step will be to Put one layer of cotton over the top of the burlap. Now you want to split the cotton in the areas where the paper coated listing wire is. This can easily be done by just pulling the cotton apart. There's no need to cut it, it's just as easy to pull it apart with your hands. Our next step will be to place the molded foam on top of the cotton, flip the entire seat over, and then secure the molded foam to the seat springs. You want to roll the layer of muslin over the top of the cotton and then put a hog ring through the muslin and around an area of the seat springs. Now you want to do the front area and then the back area and then come back to the sides. Now that our front seat bottom is ready to have the seat cover installed, we want to move on to our front seat top and repeat the process we did on our front seat bottom where we attach our burlap, we trim off any excess, we pull the burlap snug and then we hog ring it around the outside perimeter. Now unlike the bottom, the front seat top will not need any of the 2 inch felt around the outside perimeter. After the burlap is attached, we want to move on to our molded foam kit, cut out the channeled areas, set the molded foam on top of our seat spring, draw with a little black sharpie where the location of the paper coated listing wire needs to be hog ringed. And just like on the bottom, put a 90 degree bend on each end so it prevents that paper coated listing wire from traveling top to bottom. Repeat the process on both sides. Then we want to put a layer of cotton over the top of the burlap and the paper coated listing wire. Split the cotton apart. So when we hog ring our seat cover, we can actually easily go down through there and hog ring the seat cover to the seat springs. And a good way to check after you get your molded foam attached onto your seat spring, take a peek down in through the channeled area that you just cut to make sure that you can see the paper coated listing wire that's attached to the top of the burlap. And we want to attach the molded foam kit starting with the top area, working down towards the bottom edge. And when you do this, you want to carefully tuck the molded foam up underneath the hinge area and then finish up with your sides and your upper corners. You'll see how Randy is tucking that molded foam up underneath the hinge. 
you're going to be doing the same exact thing with your seat cover. And this is a very important step. Now that we're ready to install our seat covers, we want to install the paper coated listing wire on the inserts and the front and back edge. We want to start with aligning the seat cover along the back edge. And then working down through the channels, you want to hog ring around the paper coated listing wire that's in the pocket of the seat cover, tuck it down through the molded foam, and attach it to the paper coated listing wire that's attached to the burlap underneath your padding. Once the center sections are attached, you want to put the paper coated listing wire around the outside perimeter listing wires and then start to wrap your seat cover around. And you'll be able to get a good feel once you compress the molded foam and wrap the seat cover around the edge of what your seat cover is going to look like. You can flip the piping and work your vinyl to where you're going to get a pretty good idea of what your seat cover is going to look like before you even start attaching the hog rings. Now make sure your cover is symmetrical left to right before you start attaching your side skirts. We start at the front edge and work towards our back edge. And you want to carefully pull on the vinyl and work any wrinkles that you have out. And you can periodically look at the front side of your seat cover to see how it's going to look. That way you won't have to remove any hog rings and redo that area. Now we work ourselves all the way to the back edge where the hinge area is. We need to leave this area unfinished for now because we'll need to bolt the top seat to the bottom seat when we're all finished. Now there'll be some hog rings in the back corner sections that should line up and along the very back edge. This is how you can tell that the seat cover is installed symmetrically front to back. Our seat board goes in underneath the vinyl. That way it protects the seat cover against the seat springs. We want to attach the rear stretch panel to the bottom side of the seat springs. And the cup panels, you can see Randy's folding the top edge down and hog ringing to the seat frame area. This is mostly decorative so you don't see the seat rails while the seat is installed into the car. Now the two tails on the back edge, leave those for now and we'll attach those after we attach the top cover to the bottom cover. Now moving on to our front seat top cover, we want to make sure that the cover is symmetrically placed onto the molded foam. It's probably one of the most important keys in to installing one of these seat covers is to make sure that your cover is aligned before you start hog ringing the channels down through the molded foam and then before you wrap the perimeter edge. Now we want to install our paper coated listing wire along the very bottom edge and then start to wrap the perimeter by compressing the foam and then wrapping the vinyl around the edge of the seat. You want to hold some of the areas so they don't rip on you as you're pulling that over because there's going to be a lot of stress on that seat cover because it's going to be tight for you. So you want to hold some of the areas where the stitching is as you're wrapping it over the edge. And you can work the vinyl and slide it down to get any wrinkles or any imperfections that you may have. You may want to turn the piping all in the same direction. It's a good idea to do this at this time. And you can get a feel before any hog rings are attached what the seat cover is going to look like. Now you want to start at the top edge. It's going to be extremely tight, just below the headrest area. Then you want to move down along the bottom edge. You can compress the springs while you're doing this section, because it's going to appear 
that it's short, but you can see you're going to really have to compress the springs. And you can periodically look at the front side of your seat cover to see how it's going to look. That way you won't have to remove any hog rings and redo that. After your bottom edge is all attached, you can move along to the side edges and make sure that the bottom edge is aligned with the edge of the seat frame. If it's not aligned and it, the welt rides too high, you know you have your seat cover not installed symmetrically. So after the top edge and the bottom edge are done, you can move along the side edges. Periodically flip it over on the front side to see what your seat cover is going to look like. And you can tell when you're hog ringing the listing to the seat frame what your seat's going to look like. Now that our seat covers are all installed, we want to install the front seat top to the front seat bottom. We start with putting the bolts through the trim bracket before the front seat top frame and into the front seat bottom frame. There are two bolts that hold this together and then the tail that's hanging off the back side of the front seat bottom cover get hog ringed right to the frame. There's going to be two visible hog rings but they'll eventually be hidden by the trim panel once your plastic pieces are put on. Well hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. Now keep in mind you'll be able to use this video as a guideline for installing any 1966 or 1967 GMA body seat. Now hopefully we've shown you how easy it is to do this so there's no need to take it to your local upholstery shop. Now we'd like to thank all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors for making this possible. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors and most of all I'd like to thank you. I'm Ron the Interior Guy. We'll see you next time.